<clears throat> We're born again Christians. We come out here to testify about the love of God revealed through Jesus Christ. That Jesus said in John 3, 3, that a man must be born again in order to enter into the kingdom of God. And I'm a born again Christian. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel because the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. <clears throat> and so we come out here to testify of what Jesus Christ has done on the cross. That Jesus Christ has taken my sin. That Jesus Christ has taken my shame and my punishment. That I deserve to go to hell, but God in his great mercy, and while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Do you know him? Are you a born-again Christian? Do you have faith in the Son of God who saves his people from their sin? My sins have been blotted out. As far as the east is from the west, my sins have been removed by God who loves me. But the Bible says, do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Are you in a, the Bible says that we have all fallen short. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That no one is righteous, no, not one. That no one seeks after God. That we love pleasures more than we love God. And that we've all fallen short of God's standard, and God's standard is perfection. He is a holy God. There is no one like him. Nothing compares to God. And so we come out here to tell you, to warn you. We know the terror of the Lord, and so we try to persuade men. We try to persuade women to turn from their sinful ways and to trust in Jesus Christ. Do you know the truth? Jesus Christ is truth. He is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And no one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. There's no other name given among men by which we must be saved. We can only be saved through Jesus, through the blood of Jesus Christ, his cleansing power. Come underneath the flood of Jesus Christ's blood and be washed clean. Blessed is the man whose sins are forgiven, whose lawless deeds God remembers no more. And that's me. And I, I stand out here and I boast in Jesus Christ. I boast in what Jesus has done in my life. Are you a religious person or are you born again? Do you go to church or do you worship Jesus? It's not about going to church. Broad is the way that leads to destruction and there's many who are on that path. But there are few who find the path of righteousness, the narrow way. How narrow is the way? The way is narrow. You can only go through by one man. Only one man can get you on that path to heaven. Jesus Christ. Look to the cross. Look to Calvary. Look at the bloody cross of Jesus Christ and what he did. That he shed his blood, a perfect and righteous. He never sinned. Yet he was led to the, he was led to the cross as a lamb is led to the slaughter. And he, never, he didn't speak a word. He humbled, him, he humbled himself to the point of death, even death on the cross. But the Bible reveals to us what is right and wrong. It's the wisdom of God. And so I come out to testify about Jesus and what he's done in my life. I'm a born-again Christian. I'm a child of God. I am no longer an enemy of God. I'm a child of God. That God looks on me with favor because I'm one of his children, that I have the Spirit of God inside of me, dwelling in me, living in me, and producing holiness and righteousness. But again, it's not by works of righteousness that I have done, but it's by God's mercy and God's love. God has shed his love on you. Yet we continue to rebel against him. If you're not a born-again Christian, if you have not received the Spirit of God, then you are an enemy of God and you're a child of the devil. That's what the Bible teaches. You have to know what the Bible teaches. It's not about your own wisdom. This isn't my opinion. I didn't write the book. I just quote it. The Bible says it's appointed unto men to die once and then to face God's judgment. We all stand before a holy God and give an account for our life what we've done, whether good or bad. The Bible says that 
the wages of sin is death. Oh, the wages of sin is death. The wages of sexual immorality is death. The wages of abortion is death. The wages of homosexuality is death. But the gift of God.